I found an empty aisle, otherwise it is absolutely nuts in here. So I'm not vlogging, I'll catch up later. Saturday shopping day, it was nuts in there and then the wind is unbelievable. My ears are just stinging from how cold it is. So I didn't vlog in there because of how busy it was. On our way out, we dropped a package of strawberries and they splatted all over the ground. And we need them for tomorrow, so Clancy ran back in while I packed the groceries into the car. It's nasty out there. What happened? It's, it's supposed to be really nice out today. And it's not at all. It's so cold. This is our superstore haul. Brought it all in, got it all set up. The stuff in this haul are things that we can't typically get at Costco. And so I actually need to take the time to write these things down so that I have a list running of things that we only buy at Superstore. Some of these things are things that we can't get locally. Our stores here don't carry them or they carry different brands and this is just stuff that we're used to. I grabbed some bleach and then just some household cleanser there. We got salad. Tomorrow is Cecily's birthday at our house, so we are going to have some salad, burgers, hot dogs, that sort of thing. I don't usually buy it like this. We bought two huge packs of bread. This is the kids' favorite bread. Yeah, happy face. Great big buns for um, hot dogs, for whatever. I was thinking even beef dips would be great on these. Daddy may have found some Easter candy for the kids. I picked up some plates and some napkins for tomorrow. We picked up some cereal there, which we can't usually get. Puffed wheat is something that we can't get at Costco. I think Daddy picked this one up for a special reason. This is something we usually get at Costco. And some shredded wheat. This is usually a favorite of Clancy's. Their lettuce was on sale. The romaine hearts, which I usually get at Costco, but they were actually cheap enough that they were cheaper there, and I don't plan on going to Costco for a few days. Ginger and parsley, which are both things that we can't get at Costco. We picked up strawberries. This is the one that had the strawberry fatality as we were heading out of the grocery store. So Clancy ran back in and got another great big pack because we need these for tomorrow. Somewhere over here is the angel food cake. We're going to do angel food cake, whipped topping, and strawberries because that sounded like a fun birthday cake for Sass. We picked up carrots. These carrots are usually for the dog. We will eat them, it's fine. But our dog needs carrots and so we typically keep a fairly big bag on hand and we haven't the last little while. And so she eats these just because she needs the roughage and whatnot from them and cleans her teeth and she absolutely adores carrots. She will go nuts for them. You can get her to do all sorts of things just to get a carrot. In fact, she's out there scavenger hunting one because I threw it outside and it basically exploded because of the ice out there. So carrots for the dog for snacks. Some of the sauces that we can't typically get are oyster sauce. We like the light soy sauce and this one is also gluten free which is a perk. We picked up rice vinegar because it's sometimes a little bit hard to find horseradish. And Clancy picked up some sweet baby Ray's barbecue sauce. And I grabbed some Concord grape jelly. When we were in Panama, our kids actually ate peanut butter and jelly, which they never have before, and they haven't since, actually. But Kieran keeps telling me how he misses having peanut butter and jelly. So I grabbed jelly for him, and then he can go ahead and make his PB&J. We'll see if he does. I'll be interested to see if he actually does it. With these loaves of bread that we have here, he might be enticed to do it because the combination of all of these will be delicious. Clancy grabbed some maraschino cherries. I think there might be some special drinks in the work here. Real lime and cocoa. This cocoa is way cheaper than the stuff that I was grabbing at Costco. This is one of my biggest reasons for going to Superstore are these big bags of large flake oats. If you watch my yesterday's vlog, you will see that I typically eat berries with chia in them, put oats on it, and add almond milk, and that is my usual breakfast. And I was out this morning, I actually even had to have instant oats, and the texture is just not as good as the old-fashioned oats. I've switched over to using them pretty much all of the time, except for when I do steel-cut oats, which I can get at Costco. 
Um, I really don't like instant oats anymore. We have a big old stack of rice crackers, original and sesame. These are great for school snacks. I often grab them if we're going to be in the truck for a while. And this is something that I've been wanting for a while, Urban Mare. It just adds delicious flavor without too, too much salt, and it's got organic herbs and vegetables in it, and so it adds lots of flavor. Top Dogs were on sale, so I got two packages of those for tomorrow. Another standby at our house is the pepperoni that we buy. $10 for this big old bag, and we just pull out and add them to our Costco Kirkland Signature Cheese Pizzas. I grabbed a box of dessert topping. My mom always used to have uh, Dream Whip on hand when I was a kid. And probably because we live so far out of town, you can do all sorts of substitutes. But whipped cream is one that you can't really substitute for. So we always had this in our cupboard so that if we needed whipped cream, if people were coming out, if we were making a dessert that needed it, this was on hand. And I was thinking that that would be ideal. We keep making waffles and things like that and not having whipped cream. So this would be kind of fun just to have in the pantry for those moments when, hey, we need whipped cream. And I only like to buy my actual cream, heavy cream for whipping at Costco. So I don't always have it on hand and I don't wanna just run to Costco because that really blows our grocery budget. We've got whole mung beans. I've been wanting to make a recipe um, from our tribe of many. Um, he is Kenyan and Clancy actually would have eaten this when he was in Kenya too. I think it's called Dengu and I really want to make that recipe. And Clancy bought some instant espresso. The big jug of vanilla, I was just commenting again the other day how much vanilla we go through. We, I think we drink it straight sometimes. We've got onion powder. We almost used up our golden syrup last night with our ojaldres that we had, our Panamanian fry bread. We've got two things of yogurt here, gloves. The medium ones always wear out fast. Tiggy keeps having to use medium, so I actually grabbed her some small gloves for her little hands because she's on the dishwashing rotation now. We grabbed some no yolks because we have a few recipes that we make with those, a couple of favorites. Dark brown sugar, Demerara style, because I really like the flavor. It adds to our baking, and Costco only carries golden sugar. Juice for tomorrow. Sass doesn't usually drink juice, but this feels more like a party if you have juice. This is something that we really, really like. $10 for this great big bag. It's actually a pretty big sized bag and all of these meatballs are frozen individually so that you can just cook them up. I usually throw them in the oven for a little while and then throw them into spaghetti sauce and it makes a really, really quick spaghetti and meatballs. Milk because we're almost out. Clancy bought some coffee creamer. We really like the soy one, but you can only get it in the States now. That's something that you can no longer get in Canada is all almond. And I decided we needed to have a fish night, so we picked up two packages of these, the wild Pollock fillets. And last but not least, a duck. Kieran keeps saying that he wants to make something with duck, and I don't remember what it is. And we keep looking at them, and this, this is the best price that we've seen for a while. So we picked up this duck for him. It's $10. He's, I hope he remembers what it is that he actually wants to make with it. But is this frozen solid? It is a utility, so hopefully it has all of the important pieces that he needs it to have. But one of these nights, we're going to have duck which sounds kind of fun. I think most of them haven't tasted it before, so it will be an adventure. Our total for all of this is $283.66. But the good news today is that Clancy had $60 worth of coupon off and I had $40 off. We earned points through our credit cards. So we only paid $183.66 for this because of the cash back that we earned on our credit cards. So we did a pretty good haul. That's part of the reason that I wanted Clancy to go with me. Not only that, we just got to spend time together. But to be able to get $100 off of our groceries really makes a huge difference. And now we can just be all stocked up on our superstore items that we can't get here locally very easily. Thanks so much for watching. If you haven't, check out my playlist of Costco hauls, grocery hauls. It has a lot more hauls like this. Costco is our usual grocery shopping place. So go ahead and check out that playlist. If you haven't, hit subscribe and hit that like button. We'll see you soon.